Okay, today we're visiting Israeli. Look at that. A whole bunch of sheep just grazing in the field. Isn't that pretty? A 0 0.45 stamp. That's two of them together. So let's look and see what else they have from Israeli. Here we have that one right there. 0.90096. There's this one here, which is a 10. There's another 10. I was just a ship. And this one here, 0 0.20. Got the extra little piece hooked up to it. Then here we have 0 0.65. Got the extra piece hooked up to it right there. Okay, we have this one here, or 100. And we have a 0 0.12, the scales, the balancing scales, or the scales of law, whatever. Here's a 25, holding a little lamb. Okay, then we have some like this here that are, this is a 5. Look like coins on the stamp. There's a 5. Here we have a 10. Here we have a 15. Here we have a 20. And here we have a 30. So you got all of these. All look like just coins on a stamp. Okay, then we have here a 30. We have a 2. Star underneath it. A 40. The lion. A 60. Nice to see wildlife on there, huh? And a 0 0.08. All right. I hope you've enjoyed viewing these. Be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend as we travel around the world visiting old and rare postage stamps a work of art, and a lot of history. All right, bye-bye now. Okay, today we're going to visit the Philippines. All right, let me show you what we have here. Here we have a five. Look at that. Get to see the hats, their hats. Work in the field, the wheat. Look at all that. It's a lot to see, the mountains. It's always nice when a postage stamp has so much to view to take a really good look. It's a big story there. Okay, then we have a one. Manual. We have a Commonwealth two. We have a three cents here. A six cents. A ten cents. And we have two here, they're both four cents. 
just fours in the upper corners and in the lower one the fours are in a circle. Then we have a six. That's for the city. This has a 1596 on it. And this five. Then we have a four here. Look at that. What a beautiful, beautiful arch architectural monument. Almost looks like one that they would put in a park, huh? And of course the first one we showed you, which is two and four eighths pesos. Instead of two and a half, it's two and four eighths. Different. Okay, then we have a one peso. And this here has a few. They're both five cents. A couple there. Oh, two of them together. All right. Then here we have a six. Then we have a fifty plus five. We have a 6S, 1863 to 1963, the Red Cross. We have a 1 D, a 1 D, and a 2 D. All of the same lady. Then we have a 1D here. We have a 6D. A 3D. A 2. Well, this is a really nice one, isn't it? The deepness of the green, very good condition, nicely centered. A 16. A 1 fourth. This is just a black and white. The raking salt. Interesting, huh? One fourth D. Okay, a two, then we have a one, eighteen seventy eight to nineteen forty four. Simple one. All right, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend as we travel around the world viewing old and rare postage stamps. It's a really nice one, huh? It's a work of art and it's a lot of history. Hope you've enjoyed it. Be sure to share with others. All right, bye-bye now. Okay, here we are visiting Canada today. Look at this beautiful one. 1945 to 1955. Bird just to flying freely. Very nice. All right, let me show you what else we have from Canada to offer you today. Here we have our three cents. And we have our princesses. The two of them together in a one cent postage stamp. 
1935, I believe, or 39. 39, I believe. Okay, then we have the three cent stamp, 1937. Then we have our 20 cent stamp. Just the beautiful waters and everything. Very nice. And we have 1910 to 1935, the three cent stamp. Then here's a two cent stamp from Canada. 1939. Then we have our four cent stamp. 1848 to 1948. Victoria and George the six. Beautiful stamp, huh? And of course, the one we brought to you at the very beginning, a five cent stamp, 1945 to 1955. Beauty of a stamp. Love it. Okay, then we have a ship here, a four cent stamp, 1497 to 1949. Just sailing the waters. Look how fancy the word Canada is written. Very nice. Okay, and of course the Canadian flag. 1887 to 1967, five cent stamp. Then we have our one cent stamp. We have our four cent stamp, Thompson. We have a five cent stamp. This is a Christmas stamp, Christmas Noel. And we have our four cent stamp here. Look at that, the train station. 1951 to 19, yeah, they're both 1951, the two corners. The upper right hand and the lower left hand. Four sets. Two different trains up there. One's up and one's coming out of the station here. Okay, then we have our five cents. And we have our three cents Canada stamp. And a four cents. Our two cents. And the four cents. I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend as we travel around the world visiting old and rare postage stamps. Be sure to share them with others too. A lot of people enjoy just watching and looking at history because this, a lot of these are not just a work of art. It's a lot of history behind it. All right, bye-bye now. Okay, today we're going to visit U.S. and Spain. We got a double visit today. This one here I thought was rather nice. 
It was nicely designed and looks pretty. Put the picture and look at the design going around the picture. Very elegant. Very nice. Okay, let me show you what we have. First we'll start with some U.S. Okay, we have a one half. I always wonder how they decided half a penny. What if you only needed one stamp? Two for a penny back then. Now oh, you're lucky to get two for a dollar. All right, there you go. And we have the one cent. Reminds you of some of the old forts we see around here. 1833 to 1933. This is Chicago. And it is a fort, Fort Dearborn. Looks like one of the forts we have here in Winslow. Okay, and there's a Washington two cent stamp. Yeah. 1732 to 1952, I believe. I'm not sure. Can't really read that one. All right, and we have this two cent one. Jackson, Jackson and Scott. And we have this one. Wisconsin, 1848 to 1948. Three cent stamp. Look at the architect of that building. Whew. I love looking at architectural buildings. Because you don't only look at them, you just think of all the manpower back then before the machineries. The heavy machinery and everything. Just think that was all done with, by hand. People working hard. Okay, then we have the one cent freedom stamp. And we have the three cents. I never met a man I didn't like Will Rogers. Three cent stamp. Okay, and this one's 1947, three cents. Toward United Nations, April 25th of 1945, five cent stamp. Franklin D. Roosevelt. Another five cent stamp, freedom stamp. 1882 to 1945, Roosevelt. And we have a three cent here. 1876 to 1951. 75th anniversary of statehood, Colorado. And this one here, this is a black and white. You see them in different colors and everything. This one's just a black and white, up to three cents. UCF. There's a three cents, Samuel. Sixteen forty nine to nineteen forty nine, three cent stamp. Okay, and now we're getting into Spain. Here's the one. Spaniel. Okay, 
And we go down here and we have the five cent, which was the one I brought to you at the very beginning. Really elegant in design. A little bit off in their cutting and stuff, but very elegantly designed. Okay, here's a 15 cents. Here's another 15 cents. Another 15 cents. Again, with that beautiful design. This one more centered in everything than the other one was. Of course, the other one was in blue. This is purple. Here's a 20 cent. Pretty much the same fella, only the stamp has been worn out. Has a 25 cent. another 25 cents. And another 25 cents. Quite a few 25 centers. All right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend as we travel around the world through old and rare Post his stance. Bye bye now. Okay, today we're going to go visit some Oriental stamps. Uh, we got a whole line here of Hong Kong, but we have other Oriental stamps too. So this one I thought was rather nice. Look at the architect of that. Isn't that beautiful? Just think how hard it was to make that. Back in the old days, that was all. Manpower it wasn't machinery or anything like that. It was all done by hand. Just think of all the labor that went into that. Very nice. Beautiful stamp. All right, let me show you what else we have here. Starting with this one here. It's a two. And here we have a one. We have a one dollar. We have this one here. This is, let's see, this one's a 1988, seven dollar. And of course, the one we brought you at the very beginning. dollar here. And a five dollar. Then we have a seven dollar flag of Korea. We have this one's very nice. Almost looks like 500. I don't know. Up there it's 500. Down here it's like 5,000. And then in the little square there's a 10 for 10 cents. So I guess it depends what language you're reading this from. But I believe it'd be like a 10 cent stamp. It says 1948. Got the airplane, you got the ship. It's like having two stamps in one right there, huh? Gives you that look. Okay, and then we have this one here. It's a 15. The Great Wall of China. Okay, and then we have 
two here. We have a four set. Even though there's a one on it. It's like it may have been a four cent, but was used only one cent was used out of it. Don't really know. And here is another one. Same ship, same rippling of the water, but one is green and it's a four. The other one is a one and it's brown. We have a list of Hong Kong ones. We have a one set. Have a two set. Have another two sets. We have a five cents. Another five cents. Eight ten cents. Another ten cents. A twenty cents, a one dollar. That one's pretty. I like this one. Kind of peachy looking. Okay, and we have this one here. It's a five dollar. And this one says 40 on it. Okay, so that's quite a few interesting ones. This one here I really like. Alright, be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend as we travel around the world viewing old and rare postage stamps. Bye-bye now. All right, today we're going to visit some of the famous stars, some of the good old movies, or some of the singers that you remember. Of course, we all remember Wizard of Oz, right? All right. Had its own postage stamp, too, huh? Let's go through all of them. All righty. Here we have Poggy and Bess. Of course, Patsy Cline, beautiful singer, lovely country western songs. We all remember her. See how many of these you remember. The Carter family. Dinah Washington. Okay, now this one's a block of four. Stagecoach. Bugis, Stagecoach, Wizard of Oz, and Gone with the Wind. This is a block of four here that I have. Okay, Fanny Rice, that one I don't know, of course, Laryl Hardy, the 
Jack Benny show. I used to be when I was a kid at night time at 11 o'clock at night when I babysat. I used to watch that. Abbott and Costello. Y'all remember the funnies. Virgin McCarty. Okay, I don't know that one. Richie. Clyde. Showboat. Grace Kelly, Bill Harley, Buddy Holly, Bob Wills, look at that smile, huh? Million dollar smile there. Hank Williams. Great country western singer. Oops. Okay, now we have two Elvis Presley. Both the same picture, but one says Elvis Presley and the other one just says Elvis. So I thought I'd put them both out there for you. But it's the same picture. Homer. Otis. My Fair Lady. Did you know they had a stamp for her? I didn't know that until I came across it. All right, so this is all of them. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing them to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, as we travel around the world through old and rare vintage poster stamps. All right, bye-bye now. Okay, today we're visiting Greece. Look at this one. It's a five, but look at all this. Very interesting design, isn't it? Unused, in very good condition. Very interesting. Wow. All right, let me take you through everything else we have here. I just, you know, you have to look at it to make sure you catch everything that it's trying to show you. All right. So we'll start from the beginning. It's just an architectural building. That was a one. A little piece of the roof there. Not quite right. Okay, and then we have a two gives you a mountainside here. Give you an idea of the land. And this one here, a hundred. Just buildings right off the mountain, huh? Very nice.
of course the one we brought to you at the very beginning that just catches your eye for sure. Okay, here we have a 50. I mean, look at everything that's on the pictures. You know there's a good story there. Okay, then we have this one here. It's a hundred. Some more buildings right off the mountain waterway. This one's rather interesting. It's a 50. Very good condition. Of course it's used. Very nice stamp. And this one, a little bit interesting. Got the extra writing in red on top of it. It's a 40. And this one here. Pretty much the same as the other one, only the other one was in green. And this one's a 10. And the other one was a 50. So here you have the two of them. Very good condition here. And we have this one here. It's a 3. Here we have a 20. The horse and the spear. And this one, kind of unique in its own way. It's a 10. Here we have a 50. Ship coming in between the two mountains there. Got to be able to maneuver that really good. Look how the entrance, I mean, it's kind of skinny right there for that big ship to come through. Here you have the same one here in green, but a 5. And stamped on it a 10. You can kind of see these two side by side. All right. So my interesting one is this one here out of this video. So be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend as we travel around the world viewing old and rare poster stamps. It's a really good video for collectors. Check out what there is out there. A lot of people like just viewing the old stamps and going, wow, it's a work of art. Can you imagine the history behind every one, every one of them, every piece? Beautiful, beautiful pieces. All right, bye-bye now. All right, look at this one. This is a beauty. We're visiting Marino and Monaco today. And I hope I said them right. But this one's the most interesting one, I think, out of them all. F.D. Roosevelt. Look at all the details that's involved in this stamp. I know that this one was like it had to go through double printing because first you have the blue of the outside and then it had to go through reprinting in order to get the black and white picture in the center. 
So there was a lot more to stamps back then than what there was today. It's easier to print them today. Look at that. Isn't that beauty? It's like art. Historical art in old postage stamps. All right, let me take you what, show you around, see what else we have from these two countries. There we go. First, we have this one. It's a ten. And the red. Fifty. In orange, the same picture. Then here we have one F, kind of like a uh, purple. So we have all three of these, same pictures, just different value and different colors. Okay, and we have this one here, Monaco 30 cents. And here we have a 60 cents. Look at that artillery right there. Look at the architect of the buildings, huh? Isn't that nice? Okay, then right here we have one Leary. It's a 1952, two Leary. Very different postage stamps. Look how they were dressed and everything. Look how the ships were. It's a lot to see when you look at an old stamp. Okay. And we have some smaller ones right here. Minus three Leary. See the eagle was flying behind him. Over the mountain. F.D. Roosevelt. A small one. If you notice the number wasn't on it. It was printed in red. I think that makes it rather different. Same as this one here. Roosevelt again. Had to go through the double printing because first you have the red and everything and then you have the kind of brown and white. This is a four Leary. Different to have it printed afterwards like that. This one's a six. Again Roosevelt. With the flag right there. That's the one we brought to you at the very beginning, which was the four of F.D. Roosevelt. And we got this one. This one's kind of neat. I like this. It's got a lot of people. There's a lot here to see that's going on. It's a one F.R. What a unique stamp, huh? Okay, then we're going to get into some of the triangle ones. This one's 50 cents. This one is a three Leary. All this writing's on it. And another triangle one, 10 cents. Another 10 cents triangle. All the stars. Okay, so the one I think is most interesting is this one right here. So be sure to 
sub me, join me as a friend as we travel around the world looking at old and rare postage stamps. All right, bye-bye now. Okay, today we're visiting Mexico. Here's a one set stamp. Just seem rather small, different in design. All right, let me show you what else we have from Mexico. Right up here we have a two cent stamp. How big that stamp is. Pretty much used up a good part of the envelope, huh? Okay, then we have a 30 cent. Look at that. Very nice. And we have a 20 cent here. And another one, another two cent that pretty much takes up the envelope here. Pretty big. Now you know there's a history and a story behind that one, huh? Okay, and we have some little ones here. Here's a six cents. And the one we brought to you at the very beginning here, the one cent. And here we have a ten cent. A four cents. Nineteen ten to nineteen thirty four. This one, isn't this beautiful? This is a two cent. And this one. It's not going to say it in the language I can read. Very interesting picture, isn't it? Stamps are not only a work of art, they also have some history behind. So this one's got a good history. I mean, that's the way to make it on a stamp. All right. And we have a little 12 cent stamp here. See how the stars are all in a circle? Then we have a five cent one. Here we have a ten cent one. Look at that, that's beautiful. Thirty cent one. This is nineteen fifty on it. When it was stamped by the post office. And here we have a one. And a fifteen. Okay, so a few of the interesting ones. This was the one I found interesting at the beginning. 
Bob, there's been others too. Found that one to be rather interesting. And this one here really must have a good story behind it. There's just something about that picture. It's like, okay, we want to know the story. And you can do that, of course, just by typing it into the computer and seeing what there is. All right. Be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend as we travel around the world through old and rare postage stamps. Bye-bye now. Okay, today we're visiting Italian. Look at that. This one's a 45. Look at the mustache on that. Wow. That's a lot of work in keeping them going like that all the time. That was part of history. That's a really nice stamp. An oldie and a good one. All right, let me take you through what else we have from Italian. Okay, we have a 0 0.50 L. Riding the horse there. All his gear on. Then we have a one lira. The plane with hand in hand. And we have one with just a two leary with just the plane. Um, the bird looks like a plane, huh? It's a bird coming in over the water. Okay, and then we have these two. 25 cents. 25 cent. We have Hitler on one side. And not sure who the other guy is. But you know it's Hitler because he's got his mark right there. Hitler mark right there on that side. Ain't that an interesting stamp, huh? Okay. Now let's take you to the beginning of this one here. We have this 15 cent one. Very serious looking. And we have the 50 cent one. Again, facing side by side. Old wartime pictures. See how much history you can get from a postage stamp? Okay, of course, the one we brought to you at the very beginning. Now this here, we have quite a few of them, all in different colors and different value. This is a 20 cent. Kind of a brown. Here we have a 25 cent in blue. Fifty cents, kind of a purple. Sixty cents, kind of a red. All right, so you get all four of those. Okay, then we have this one here. Ten cent. Fifty cent. Look at the crown. Look how it's made. Very different, isn't it? Okay, then you have a ten cent here. Here with a 
exact same kind of crown on the side view. 15 cents. And you have this one at 50 cents. See how this one had to go through double printing. Because first you had the brown and everything. Then you had to go back through the printing. Make sure you had the picture right for the black and white picture in the center. Used to be done differently than it is today. Okay, here's a one leery. And here we have a five. Here we have a two cent. Here we have a fifty. Here we have a twenty five. Now these two really kind of the same building but see how and they're both 25 but they're both made differently one's a close up view and one's further back they're both 25 that's what's amazing with it but the same architectural building and the same value Alright, well, hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, as we take you around the world through the art and history of old and rare postage stamps. Bye-bye now.